everybody welcome to my channel and if you're new here welcome so today I am showing you how to build a two-seater patio bench now this is something that my husband and I have wanted for a really long time and we all know that patio furniture can be quite expensive and lumber right now is super expensive so we found a free way of building a patio bench and I am so excited to show you this because we've worked so hard on it and we are super happy with it I'm sitting on it right now actually and I just I love it I think you're gonna love building one for yourself as well you can actually build a whole set a whole patio set which we plan on doing but not right now I think one is enough for now and you can even put um, get new cushions for it it just it looks it looks amazing the way we did it so you can make wood pallets look really beautiful and you can get them for free. So if you can find some wood skids for free, then build your bench. So enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And I hope that you enjoy it and I hope that it really helps you get some inspiration so that you can build your own patio bench. Enjoy. Here are the wood pallets that we used. We made sure that we picked up some really good ones, solid wood, and I will put the measurements of them into my description. I was so excited for this. I've been wanting to make this bench for a really long time. So we have two really good pallets that we used. We need to make two bases, one for the front and one for the back. So I used the sawzall to cut up the first one and Mr. Lovely helped me out with this a lot. I need to learn how to use a few tools. So this is the sawzall and we need to we needed to measure the front and the back and how wide we were going to have them and how many how tall we wanted it as well. So make sure that you're doing that. So this is the first time that I'm using this sawzall. I had sandals on. I had the wrong footwear, so I ended up changing my footwear and wearing safety glasses. I'm just discussing how I'm going to do this. So here's just a close up of what it looks like and this is the first base. So it really is personal preference how tall you want your your seat and how wide you want the seat. And so now you can see the two bases on the bottom right hand corner and now I'm cutting up the seat part. So we measured we wanted five wood slats back if that makes sense but I will put the measurement into the description my husband was being very silly here I asked for my safety glasses and there he goes <laughs> all right so I got used to the sawzall quite quickly and it was going very smoothly so here's just another close-up of what it looks like All right, so here's what it looks like. The top part is what we're using, and it is perfect for the seat, very solid. And so to attach the two bases, front and back, I pried off a piece of wood so that we could put a piece at the front so that the bottom bases have something to be screwed to. So here I am, as you can see, there's two pieces at the back already, which is perfect and then we needed to attach this one so that we could screw on the front base. So I turned it upside down and started screwing the bases into the seat. Mr. Lovely did one and I did the other one. So you can sort of start to see how it's looking. This is the front and that's the back. So now we have a base for our seat. Make sure that you're putting in lots of screws so that it's really secure. And this is what it looks like so far. So then we needed a backing to this bench. And so this is also personal preference. You can have it however high you want. So we measured with the chalk line and then started cutting with the circular saw. Mr. Lovely had cut off the top layer because you can't go through both layers. So this is where we are using this saw and just taking off those slats. And we, the pieces that are coming off there, we're also going to be using those for the, the rails. 
So here's just a close up of what it looks like. Okay, so now we have our back and you can start to see what it's going to look like. Now you can see there's two gaps on either ends of the back. So I'm just screwing in the back here to the seat. Again, make sure you have enough screws in there so that it's really secure. This was my first time really using the screwdriver a lot, so I was having issues. So Mr. Lovely taught me the proper way to hold the screw and get that in there because I kept losing it. So here are the two pieces that we're using for those or those side parts of the back. And this is actually um, a piece of wood that we had extra, a two by four. So you will need that other than the pallets. And so I'm just measuring how tall that we're going to have the two pieces on either side of the back. And time to cut it so that we'll have two pieces and then we can screw those into the boards as you can see here now I was having a bit of a laugh because I felt very silly I was actually screwing into nothing <laughs> it was completely hollow on the other side and we realized that and you can also see here that I desperately needed some guidance with the screw Here's Mr. Lovely <laughs> just showing me how to hold the screw properly. I eventually did get it. then realized there was nothing behind it <laughs> but we did get it on and we actually added a top as well so we used the entire piece of wood that was left over so here I am I'm already sitting on it it's looking great we're just measuring and our dogs enjoying it too so we're just measuring for the rail now again you can have it however high you want so we cut up some extra pieces of the 2x4 and place them one at the back and then one at the front on either side and that's for the rail to sit on so we were using every single piece of wood that we had for this bench and then you just screw on the top part so here's what it's looking like it's still not done so while I was waiting on Mr. Lovely Jubbly we I sanded the entire bench to raw wood. So while that was going on, I did some staining. I wanted to see what the Minwax Espresso stain looked like. So I started to stain the wood after I had sanded it. 
and it started to look really, really good. I loved this color stain, and so this is definitely the look that I wanted. I wanted to stain the entire bench, and then we were going to add a base all the way around the edges on the sides because I didn't like the gaps that were there. So I put gloves on, used a lint-free cloth, and just started rubbing in the stain onto the wood. So I continued to stain the back as well, which was a little bit rougher even though I had stained it. So I ended up using a brush just to get into the little areas that I couldn't reach with a cloth. So here is what it looks like so far. All stained on the top and then I needed to make a base for the bottom sides because I didn't like the gaps that were showing. So I measured with the leftover wood pieces that we had and used my circular saw to cut it and then place it on the front like this. So I screwed on that front piece because I didn't want the gap, but I also wanted it to be comfortable for us to sit on and under our knees. So I made sure that it was just a little bit lower than the actual seat, and then I screwed them on. So then I need pieces for the sides because I didn't want the gap there, so I pried up some more wood off of the really good palette that we had, and then we measured how wide it needed to be and screwed them on. So that's the one side, this is the other side. And now it looks so much better with that base on there. So you can make wood palettes look beautiful. So I wanted to finish up the staining because I had to stain the new, the new sides that we put on. So I used a lint-free cloth again, but to get into those areas that I couldn't reach with the cloth, I got a brush and I used that and it worked much better. So here is what it looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. I love how it turned out and we love where it is. And a lot of people are saying that it looks like a swing, but it is so heavy, there's no way that we could lift it or it could be a swing. Thank you for watching. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed that video. I hope that it helps you get some inspiration so that you can build your own patio bench out of wood pallets. And I mean, some people even have some on hand for free that you can, you can get and build your own set bench chair you can build anything with wood pallets so thank you for watching i hope that you subscribe to my channel and i will be coming out with a new video next saturday at 12 30 p.m eastern time and thanks again and enjoy your day